y'all. I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on our video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications and go follow me on Twitter, at KOBoxing86 TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Live shows Wednesday and Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And I'm also live with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's get it popping and get into our video. And we got another fight prediction. I got the young king, Abdullah Mason versus Manuel Guzman. Six-round lightweight fight. Abdullah Mason is fighting on a card in Ohio. Yes, he still signed the top rank. I had to holler at my boy L-Dub because I was confused when I seen Abdullah with Mason was fighting. And it ain't on the top rank card. But um, Abdullah Mason is still with top rank. But per my brother L-Dub boxing, top rank allows him to, you know, and other fighters, if top rank has given them their number of fights for the year and they get another developmental fight, as long as top rank approves the opponent, then he's able to go fight on other production. So he's going to be able to fight at home in Ohio Stay busy, continue to develop, and he's going up against Manuel Guzman. And, you know, I, I'm going to be watching this shit. It's my, it's my guy, my number one rated prospect in all of boxing, Abdullah Mason, 18 years old, southpaw, 5'9", 74-inch reach. If that shit sound familiar, that's because he got the exact same dimensions as Terrence Bud Crawford. Out of Ohio, as I said, five wins, no losses, four wins by way of knockout. You got Manuel Guzman out of Nicaragua. Five foot seven, thirty-one years old, orthodox fighter. Eight wins, seven losses, one draw, five wins by way of knockout, and he been knocked out three times. Um, let's talk about Guzman. Guzman got a wide ass stance. I seen him fight. Watched a couple of his fights on YouTube. Got a wide ass stance. Not much head movement. He gonna be way shorter, not as long as Abdullah Mason. So he gonna be in there trying to come forward, and Abdullah Mason gonna piece his ass up. Cause he ain't got no head movement. He ain't nowhere near the level of Abdullah Mason. But he's from Nicaragua. You know they tough out there out of Nicaragua. We just saw Felix Alvarado take on Sonny Edwards. Um, and that in that title fight put up a good fight for Sonny Edwards. One, we all know who Chocolatito is out of Nicaragua. So put some respect on Nicaragua's name. They they produce very tough fighters. And so I know he ain't gonna come to lay down. Abdullah Mason ain't nothing he can't do. We talking about a multiple time national champion in boxing and as an amateur. We talking about a guy that's long, powerful, rangy, athletic, can fight you inside, can fight you outside, can use distance control to counter you, can work off his jab, very fast, very quick reflexes, good eyes, make you miss, but make you pay always in position to throw a shot like Abdullah Mason, the truth is what I'm trying to tell y'all. I keep telling people this, and this is a true story. I know that Keyshawn Davis and Spar Shakur Steve. And Shakur say that's some of the best work he done got. But all I know is that when Sha when Keyshawn Davis signed Shakur, been sparring Shakur Stevenson as an amateur, it took him turning pro. It took him, you know, fighting on a couple of the zone cards. It took him going to the Olympics. And then Top Rank was like, yeah, we want, we want Keyshawn Davis. We'll sign him. Abdullah Mason went and sparred Shakur Stevenson at 17 years old. And Top Rank said, we need you right now, young man. We'll sign you right now. This man is supremely talented, bro. And he about to put a whipping on Guzman. I ain't, you know, no disrespect to Guzman. Come in there and do your thing. Be tough. If you shock the world, you shock the world. But y'all know we rocking with Abdullah over here. So anytime he got a fight... I'm covering him. So that way when he make it to where I'm telling y'all he going to make it to, can't nobody be like, oh, you a bandwagon. Oh, you you didn't know nothing about Abdullah Mason. I'm going to ask you to go check my catalog and see that I've been covered all his fights since he turned pro. All five of them on this channel. About to be six on this channel with this video right here. But that's all I got, man. I got to let y'all know if you ain't know, Abdullah Mason is fighting on Friday. He is fighting on Friday and he about to put hands. On Manuel Guzman. Stoppage. Round three or round four. That what I'm picking. Abdullah Mason by stoppage. And ain't nobody want to see that young man. The best prospect in boxing right now is Abdullah Mason. I don't care what y'all tell me. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. 
Comment down below, smash the like, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, go follow me on Twitter, AKO Boxing 86 TV. For breakdowns and predictions, y'all know to hit the email, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. Appreciate y'all watching, enjoy the rest of your day, and with that, we out of here. Peace out.